Hi everyone, Lewis here. Welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side of me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today, I'll be talking about group homes and other residential programs. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. For adults on the spectrum, especially those who are nonverbal, can't take care of themselves. Their parents will place them into group homes or residential programs. The topic for this was inspired by a mother who has an autistic son named James. She talks about the cons of placing your autistic child into such a setting where sometimes they could be abused by the staff in a group home or a residential program. I will post links to the channel of this person in the description below. Another example is the subject of the video who sadly passed away after escaping his group home when he was killed in a hit and run, a man named Scott. I'll post a link to the documentary about him in the description below as well. For some, group homes and residential programs aren't for everyone. For those who are placed into these settings, it's their home for the rest of their lives. The pros now, there are benefits to it as my father told me that he knows someone who put their son into a group home where they get to go on trips a lot and do other things. I'm not here to talk about whether or not it's a good or bad idea to place someone with autism into a group home or residential program. Another example of of a severely autistic person who I speak of, his mother had no choice but to place him into a group home for the rest of his life as it became too much for her. He's a man named Harley. I will post links to the videos about his story in the description below. When it comes to this subject, it can be controversial, especially when it's sad and negative stories about this subject. Group homes and residential programs are not for everyone. That person isn't going to be happy being away from their families or their birth homes. Sometimes they will live with their parents, siblings, or other family members for the rest of their lives too, which I will talk about in the next video. Depending on the situation, Sometimes people on the spectrum can successfully live on their own without help from anyone. They can have someone monitor them like hired staff, friends, or even family members. Thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, don't forget to stay home during these dark times and only go out when it's necessary.